on Dory here. So this video isn't going to be part of that series that I was talking about last video, but I do have a couple boxes to unpack today. As you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, I've got some Mindful Souls boxes to open today. Now I've been getting this subscription for a while, a few months now, and I absolutely love it. Goddess for Visions was a subscription that I got long before Mindful Souls. And Goddess for Visions, ever since I first got it, has been one of my favorite subscription boxes. And now Mindful Souls is up there too. They are basically right with Goddess Provisions on one of my favorite subscription boxes that I get every month. I always love it. And I kind of wish that I had a then versus now Mindful Souls sort of thing. I guess I kind of do, but it's only a month difference. I have a July Goddess, uh, uh <laughs> Goddess Provisions. A July Mindful Souls and an August Mindful Souls. Ah, oh, as you can tell, I've been waiting to open this since last month and oh, I'm so excited. I love this box so much. I may be really excited to open this box for these boxes. But I just want to throw this in here real quick. If you watch this video and you enjoy it, I would really, really appreciate it if you would hit the like button. If you could hit the subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. I'm not going to make you do it, but I'd love it if you could. It would mean so much to me. And comment down below what kind of subscription boxes you'd like to see me open and what you'd like to see from me. All right? So now that I've said that, let's get right to these boxes because I am so pumped. Should we start with July or August? I guess we could start with July. I got July first. Let's dig in. I see a little page and this is what I see right when I open it up. I don't even really know what that is. Oh, is that the, yeah, that's the affirmation card. That's something that I find really cool in the Mindful Souls box. Every month they send an affirmation card. This one is affirmation for letting go. It says, I release all disease from my body and welcome health, love, and happiness into my life. And it's just a little card that can help you move through your life and move through your journey. Whatever affirmation card I get in each month, whether or not it applies in that moment or it ends up applying at some point throughout that month, it always finds a time to apply around the time that I get it. And these cards actually have helped me a lot. I have another one which is affirmation for creativity. This one. Around the time that I got this one was when I started really thinking about making YouTube videos. It's also when my anxiety started going down and I started feeling like I could do something other than just be stressed out all the time. I think I started school again and these cards actually do mean a lot to me and I'm so glad that they have these cards in these boxes. So I keep these. They are really great, I think. I know they're just cards, but they mean a lot. So I'm not gonna look at this yet. I'm about to hold up the card that has all of the items in this box. If you don't wanna see the card, if you'd rather wait and watch me open everything and show it to you, I'd say to skip 10 seconds, starting now. There you go. All right, so any of y'all who wanted to just get it out of the way and see what was in the box before I show you, you can see it. For all those who want it to be a surprise like me, here you go. A lot of times they send a sticker. It says, be the reason that someone smiles today, and I love that. I always want to keep that as a motto in my life. I love making people smile, and I hope that whoever watches my videos, I hope I help them smile that day. If I can make even one person smile, if they're having a rough day, or even if they're having a good day, if I can make even one person smile, it makes my day. Okay, enough of the cheesy stuff. This is very pretty. They always send, if not one rock or crystal, then multiple rocks or crystals. This box is very much about spirituality, the earth, and about your being, your physical, mental, emotional health, 
and your relationship with yourself, others, and the world around you, nature and all of that. So a lot of times they have rocks and crystals and I guess I could explain to you what this rock means. Go. This rock looks like it's a labradorite. Labradorite? Never heard of that. Palm stone. Labradorite is a highly mystical and protective stone. A bringer of light. It raises consciousness and connects with universal energies. Oh, I love that. Labradorite deflects unwanted energies from the aura and prevents energy le leakage. Forms a barrier to negative energy. That, oh. Again, with this box, sending things that seem to come at the perfect time. I love that. I've been kind of slipping into negative mindsets a little bit again, and this will help me a lot to kind of bring up my positivity again. That'll be awesome. The color of Labradorite is usually dark until it catches light. Yeah, that's beautiful. The iridescent blue or gold flashes. Sit quietly and hold your healing stone in your hands. Breathe and visualize your intention for your stones. So that's Labradorite Palm Stone. Also, they take very good care of your items. They send each item in a little baggie like this. Everything always comes in a box with like this stuff in it. It's very nice. Ever since I got this, I've been hearing, I, at first I thought something was broken, but then I kind of snuck in and I was like, is something broken? Okay, no, it's not broken. It's just, what is this? I guess we'll look that up. It's a, oh, it's an incense holder. Okay, that's really pretty. That is beautiful. It's a lotus flower incense holder. I thought something was broken when I first got it because, here, I'll, I'll example. That pro, that he feels, that here, that sounds broken, right? It sounds like something's broken. I was hearing that in the box. Nothing's broken, thankfully. Here's something that I keep accidentally seeing on the... Oh, that's so beautiful! This is something I keep accidentally seeing on the page. I'm trying not to look at all the items as I'm looking up information, but I keep seeing this. It's a spoon. Spoon with clear crystal. Bring a touch of magic to your coffee, tea, or cupcake breaks with this cute little spoon with clear crystal. Clear crystals resonate at the level of your individual needs and they will amplify energies or intentions that are programmed into them. Ooh, that's so pretty. Man, I, I really wanna show you, like I don't know if you could already see it, I really wanna show you the detail on this. The things that they send in these boxes are so pretty. There's so much detail on them. There tends to be. There we go, you can kinda see it now. It's so beautiful. You see that? So pretty. I love that. So yeah, that's Spoon with Clear Crystal. Now for the next one. Ooh, that's really pretty. I see a little pack of two bracelets. There's this one. Just has this one little stone on it and this one which has all the st all stones all around it. Oh, that's so pretty. This is also Labradorite. The same as the first stone, the Labradorite bracelet set. Sparks of neon will illuminate the path to your destiny. The stone banishes fears and insecurities and the psychic debris from previous disappointments strengthens faith in the self and trust in the universe. It removes other people's projections, including thought forms that have hooked into the aura. Wearing Labradorite helps you tap into a higher state of consciousness. It's a protective stone as well, so it will keep your energy body grounded while allowing you to explore the expanded states of the universe. I love that kind of talk. <laughs> that is beautiful, and I love that so much. On to the next one. This looks like the purple one. Yeah, oh, that's so pretty. What is this? Another type of stone. And sometimes, as you can see, you get like mostly stones. You always get about the same amount of things in the box. It's really nice things. Sometimes you get just a whole bunch of stones. Sometimes you get, um, like I think one time I got, you know, like the, 
the string lights. I got string lights that had like stones on them and they, you can like hang them up and they're pretty. These, I got these a while ago, crystal lights. I haven't hung them up yet. I want to though. I keep not thinking about it. I have so much going on. Anyway, this is lapis lazuli necklace. Lapis lazuli is a gemstone that has existed since the beginnings of time. The ancient Egyptians used it in their scarabs, pendants, and other ornamental objects. A lapis lazuli stone is a gemstone of total awareness and peace that helps connect you to a higher truth. It quickly releases stress, bringing deep peace. Lapis lazuli properties also include helping you to further your journey of self-discovery and self-mastery. That sounds beautiful. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put that on right now. I love that. That's great. And then there's this. I think this is the last thing. Yes, this is the last thing for the July box. There's this. This is a mahogany obsidian point. There we go. That's pretty. Mahogany obsidian is a natural glass obsidian that has inclusions of magnetite, magnetite or hematite creating, ooh, that's sharp creating the mahogany colored patches in it. A hugely protective stone, it is used for protection from psychic attacks by those who wish to harm, or those who don't even intend to, but their energy is negative or aggressive and might inadvertently do so. This is an excellent grounding stone that helps instill confidence while protecting the wearer from the effects of negative thoughts, self-doubt, and the doubt and scorn of others. Sit quietly holding your mahogany obsidian point and ask yourself, what is holding me back from being who I was designed to be? What am I afraid of? Write down whatever comes to mind and put your black obsidian point on top. Its energy helps to bring those things up to the surface. Yeah, I think this will help me a lot. Again, the things coming right at the perfect time. <laughs> I like that. That's the July box, guys. As every single month, I love it. But I'm happy, cause I'm not done yet. I still got the August box. Let's go, I'm so excited. The August Mindful Souls box. The July one was awesome. So I know, I, I mean, I've been getting this a while, so I already know it's gonna be awesome. It always, literally always is. If this isn't awesome, I'm surprised. Here's inside the box. And again, I'm gonna show the card. I will let you know when to fast forward if you want to not see the card. If you wanna just let me show you, I will hold up the card. Again, fast forward 10 seconds from when I say go, okay? All right, go. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. He snuck a little peek at the card and oh, it looks like it's gonna be, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right. This is affirmation for ownership. I can pick and choose what I want to do. Again, perfect time. Like, it always amazes me. Like, I, I could, perfect time. This is a pretty sticker. I like that. That's so pretty. It's beautiful. Here's the first item. Oh, I don't normally get herbs. Hmm, what is this? White sage leaves. I've been wanting to actually try out sage. White sage leaves. Sage is a plant whose scent is revered for its ability to purify, protect, and elevate space. I've heard of that and I really want to try that. With clear intentions established, use a white, state, a white sage smudge stick to open the mind up to forgiveness, compromise, and other stages of emotional progress. Burning sage or smudging can have a significant impact when used after an argument, after an illness, before and after parties, after an intense workout, prior to meditation, when moving into new space, and during periods of grieving. 
The smoke from dried sage actually changes the ionic composition of the air and can have a direct effect on reducing our stress response. I'm so excited to try this. I keep forgetting to buy sage, but I've been wanting to try that for a while. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. What is that? I guess it's just a little design, but that's so beautiful. See what I mean? Why everything in this box is just, it's made so well. It's so pretty. It's so thoughtful. There's so much to each item that's just, it's amazing. Look at that design. Look at the detail. This is Rose Quartz Bracelet. Thinking of self-care as a necessity rather than as a luxury that you don't have time for will set you up for a happier and healthier life. Very true. It's so true. I know with busy lives these days, it can be hard to focus on self-care, but it's so important. So important. It really is. Self-care is all about, and actually, speaking of self-care and it being important, I can explain more about my recent journey, and my past few years journey with self-care and with mental and physical health. I could do some videos on that if you'd like to see that. I am so proud of myself with how far I've come in the past couple years and if you want to hear about that because I would hope that it could help inspire or motivate pe other people to take care of themselves or help further their own journeys in self-care. So uh, if you want to see something like that, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to film a video like that. That'll be more of a personal type of thing. And I'm sure I will really get into like the nitty gritty of certain very personal topics. Uh, just let me know if you'd like to see that. Okay. Self-care is all about making time to nurture yourself and loving yourself unconditionally. Yes. Bless yourself with compassion by connecting to the rose quartz energy of this bracelet. Rose quartz brings the focus to how strong and powerful you are, regardless of what is happening with your body. It begs you to love yourself at every stage. I'm putting that on too. I'm all about self-care these days. I love it so much. Oh, I see something that's really pretty and I'm really excited to get to. I don't know what it is, but it looks beautiful. Let's look at this first. I'm already opening it. Oh, that's so pretty. What is it? Oh, it's like a moon necklace. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Look at that. It's a stone on it. The detail again. Look at that detail. So pretty. This is Yellow Appetite Waning Crescent Necklace. The waning crescent moon symbolizes the end of the old cycle, the start of approaching new of approaching new one. Detach yourself from the world and rest. It is a time to think things over and contemplate the things you should let go. Aptite is a dual action stone, known for its positive use of personal power to achieve goals. It clears away confusion, apathy, or negativity, then stimulates the intellect to expand knowledge and truth, which may be used for personal growth or for the collective good. It is a stone of manifestation, promoting a humanitarian outlook and service to others. Oh, man. I can't stress enough how perfect the timing is every month for these things. At least for me. <laughs> it like blows me away every month. How perfect it is. I love that. I would put that on right now if I didn't already put this on. <laughs> I don't want to put too many necklaces on. I would put all of them on if I could. <laughs> okay, then there's this, ooh, the big stone. Ooh, that's so pretty. That's a big, big, stone right there. That's so pretty. Polished. Nice. This is moss agate. Moss agate carries a strong connection with nature. 
mending its healing and nurturing energy to you. It teaches us to appreciate and enjoy each moment we have with the earth, helping us to set an intention for healing the planet. Associated with the heart so chakra, most agate helps also helps facilitate the release of old habits and fears to inspire growth. Gosh, <laughs> they never fail to just blow me away every month and make me so happy. I've been getting it multiple months. I don't remember exactly how many months, but I've been getting it multiple months and every month it's just amazing. Thank you so much, Mindful Souls. This is a huge promotion and not sponsored. If they want to sponsor me, Sweet. I would be all down for that. I'm not affiliated with them other than the fact that I just bought these boxes. I bought them without my own money. But yeah, this is 100% promotion for this company. I love it. I love this company. I love the box. Every month I get it. I love it. So here is the second to last item in this box. It's a little marble-like stone. This is Tiger's Eye Sphere. I just got a peek at the last thing, and that's the, the last thing is the one that I was like, that's so beautiful. I got a peek at it on here, and I know what it is now, and I'm like, oh, oh that's so cool. Okay, anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. Tiger's Eye Sphere. When fear enters our decision-making process, our choices get skewed. To see the path ahead clearly, improve your foresight with a Tiger's Eye Sphere. Tiger's Eye healing pr properties protect us from seeing the worst in ourselves. Instead, Tiger's Eye healing energy blesses the third eye with confidence, courage, strength, and harmony so that our perspective isn't tainted by self-doubt or insecurities. To activate your crystal, sit quietly holding your crystal in both hands. Breathe in the highest white light and visualize your intention for your crystal. So that's Tiger's Eye Sphere. I love that. I love everything. I know, I, I don't know how much I've been saying I love that in this video or I love, love something, but I love it all. Again, they never fail to just look at how beautiful this is. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. This is the thing that I was like, I saw it and I was like, that's so beautiful, I can't wait to see that. This is a clear quartz energy generator. Having an energy generator crystal in your space will help to clear out negative energies, giving you peace of mind during your daily life. These generators raise the energy from the earth to the sky and can bring universal light and knowledge into your space. It's a great tool for meditation, healing, and general support and can also be used to charge other crystals. Clear Quartz is a master healer crystal and it amplifies the energy of crystals it is placed near. Place energy generators in your home or workspace to protect, activate, and transmute energy. I will definitely put this somewhere in my home. <sighs> Happily. That is so beautiful. And by the way, it says at the bottom about crystals, it says, please note, it's important to cleanse and energize your crystals as soon as you obtain them. Allow your crystals to sit under cool running tap water for 10 to 20 minutes. If you are near to a natural running, running river, stones can be placed in an open mesh bag and left for a short time in the natural running water. So they say that, they ask you to do that to take care of your stones. Oh wait, is there a quote? Uh, on the back it says, encourage yourself, believe in yourself and love yourself. Never doubt who you are. Said by, this is a quote by Stephanie Lahart. And then there's another quote on last month's card. Don't let yesterday take up too much of today. Quote by Will Rogers. I love this so much. Guys, I'm always so happy with this. They always blow me away. That was the August box. I just, hopefully, I, I hope this video just spoke for itself. All you can think. I definitely promote this box. I definitely support this company. I love every box that I receive from them. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will send y'all over for the outro. All right guys, that was July 2021 and August 2021 Mindful Souls boxes. As I've said many times throughout this video, I absolutely love Mindful Souls and I will continue to get Mindful Souls. If there's ever a time where I can't like afford it, I will buy it as soon as I can. I will pick it right back up as soon as I can afford it. I love them so much. Like I said, they're right up there with Goddess Provisions. I also love Goddess Provisions. And you'll see a video for that as well soon. So I, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, if you liked it, I would really love it if you'd hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, if I've earned that subscribe, I'd love it if you could hit that sub button. I would love you forever. I don't know if you'd like that, but I would love you forever if you could hit that sub button and comment down below. Any suggestions, anything you want to see me do, any subscription boxes, hauls, let me know what y'all want. If y'all want to just talk to me in the comments, like I said, I am down to chat. I'm there. I will, I'm more than happy to talk to y'all if y'all want to talk to me, of course. I hope you enjoyed once again, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace, peace, bye, guys. Bye.